Hello guys, how are you doing? Well, welcome to my channel. And it's a busy day today, but you know what? Even how busy you are, how exhausted you are, you still need to eat. And one thing is you're going to think what you're going to eat for dinner. And the worst thing is you're going to prepare for dinner. Well, what is for what's recipe for today? So I have here chicken breast and I just because I'm tired and uh, well we don't want to do so much thing like seasoning all the stuff preparing things so I have a sh shake and bake powder so I prepare the, the breast uh, chicken breast and uh, wash it and put dry and then I put that I pour the powder in a bag and put that chicken and you just shake 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 and some people are going to fry it but today I'm going to bake it small healthy no greasy so I have prepared here the pan and I put a foil there and a rock because sometimes keep opening the, the oven is make the heat come out and then we're going to heat again so even uh, if you don't want to do that you can put that in the in a rock and then you don't need to keep turning or keep checking because there's a space under it and the heat will going to circulate anyway so you don't need to turn your chicken all right so i'm going to bake this in the oven and one thing more is remember when you put coat the chicken wings or any meat and uh, you can just coat it when you're going to cook already but when you taste it only the surface have taste but nothing inside so what i did is i put this one and chilled for like one hour and then of course all the season will go into the meat so not only the surface have taste even the taste the season is all go into your meat so when you eat you can feel the difference okay so we're going to put this in the oven and i already preheat the oven for 375 degrees and we'll see how long you're going to cook this one. Right. Okay, when there's some um, leftover, it's okay. You can uh, put into the meat. And if your meat is huge, like thick, you can cut. Just like what I did, I cut into in, in the thick part. So it will cook evenly because when the thin part is easy to cook and the thick part is not easy, it takes longer to cook. So you can cut it with your knife. Okay, and if there's a leftover in the, on the bag, you just toss it out because we don't want to... Um, Reuse that one already because there's a chicken already there. Okay. Here you go. It's ready in the oven. So what else we're going to have today? We're going to have mashed potato. So I'm going to boil this potato. Build and boil it. And we're going to have a salad. Bell pepper. Cucumber, tomato, onion, and some lettuce. And I'm going to add avocado on it. And I would like to have something greenish. So spring onion for garnish. 
Okay, so we're going to cut the potato and boil it. So the I already boiled the water. So when uh, when it's already when it's ready, I just put all this potato in there to shorten the time to cook. Because when you put and one thing more is so we don't want the potato to be so starchy. So I love to boil the water first. When it boils, then I can add the potato. So it's uh, it takes shorter to cook also. Okay. So the water is boiling now. Then we can put the diced potato. Remember, when you want to cook it faster, then you need to cut smaller. So I'm going to dump into the boiling water now. And you don't need too much water in it, just enough for the to cover the potato. And we're gonna cover that. And while this one is boiling and the chicken is in the oven, we're going to prepare our salad. So while we're baking the chicken breast and boiling the potato, we're going to prepare our salad. So first we're going to cut our bell pepper. And I'm going to keep the seeds because I'm going to plant uh, next month because uh, this month is not uh, uh, it's not advisable to plant first because uh, we don't know what's the temperature it's still cold so I'm going to keep the seeds One week in May. And I already washed all the vegetables, so I like to wash everything and then cut. Because when you cut and then you're going to wash, you might lose the vitamins and minerals of the vegetable. Yep. Someone's here tried to sabotage my video. <laughs> So it's okay. He's not gonna be succeed. Well, me? Why not? And because of this is huge, we cannot finish that all. So we still can keep it. Make it sure that it's dry. And you're going to put in a Ziploc bag or freezer bag. And you don't need to be freeze. You just put in your fridge. And you can use, uh, without air, is you can use this until three days or four days, as long as there's no air to go into. That you're going to prevent your vegetable to spoil. Pack it and tidy it up. So there's no air, so it's not going to go spoil. Because the air is the one spoiling our food. So you need to be smart. You want to save and you need to pack and store nicely your vegetable or meat. Okay, so start cutting now. You don't need a uh, big or small one, just enough like a bite size. You see, you can see I like to use this knife because it's easy and short. Right, just like that, it's like a triangle, and we're going to put in our bowl. All right, next is our cucumber. Just cut like that. It's got in a bite size. Only too small or too big. See? And 
and this one is you can uh, add the avocado because it's all the vegetable that we choose is all uh, soft anyway so we're not going to add carrots into our salad because it's kind of off from our all the rest of our ingredients okay so we're going to cut the tomato yeah it's the tomato is also baked so we can keep into our container a uh, tight container and we can keep into our fridge make it sure that this the container is tight so it's not going to spoil because tomato is easy to spoil anyway so you still can use it the next day or after three days but make it sure that you're going to store in a tight container so this is tomato and our lettuce so you just put all together like that and it's easy to cut you don't need to cut one by one and we're gonna take off some of the that uh, tip because it's turn color so we don't want that so we just cut like one inch Just like that. So we're going to put in our bowl. And our onion. This meal is so simple and easy to prepare. So even you're tired the whole day, you you still have time to make that simple meal, but healthy. But of course, we're not going to cut the avocado first until we're ready to eat because it's gonna turn color. So we're going to cut this spring onion first. to cut in the like that or I we can cut one time only and then I let this pour out for my garnish later Okay, so we're done cutting all the vegetables and we just wait for our chicken breast and potato to be cooked and then we're going to mash the potato. Alright, so our potato is done and I don't know uh, guys how you're going to make your mashed potato but I'm using mixer. And just add the butter. look how fluffy it is it's so fluffy and smooth in just five minutes or less than five minutes to use the mixer rather than using the mashed potato isn't it this butter i already mixed the butter in there and while it's still hot and i mix it and our mashed potato is all set now our chicken is ready
So this is our salad. Isn't it gorgeous? And we're going to add the avocado. Add your favorite dressing and just toast it like that. And we're going to dish it out. Okay, let's eat. Bon appetit. Look at the mashed potato and the salad and the chicken is still juicy. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope I gave you an idea for your next meal. All right. Keep safe everyone and thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and click right and you also can share with your friends. Bye!